Do vacuum tubes reduce audio resolution? Gigi in London, England wants to know, hey Paul, do tubes reduce the audio resolution? Everything sounds pleasant but a bit blended or softened. It is not as sharp and precise as with a Class D amplifier. You know why I love this question, Gigi? Because it, it really hits onto a common misconception. And it's a very prevalent one, so you are not alone. I know people all over the world that have this, this sort of sneaking suspicion. So I'm going to try and explain why. But first, we're talking about this, right? I mean, as I bring it up to look at that beauty. Oh, that's a nice little vacuum tube. All right. So for years, I was, I was again them. I was again vacuum tubes. I, I, you know, we never put them into PS Audio products. I liked them. I had one of the original SP3 phono preamp. There was a full audio research preamplifier. Loved that thing. Best sounding preamplifier I had owned up to that date. Lusted after it, like I lusted after the IRS fives, and, and you know, finally got got me one. But the the sense that tubes have this added warmth that comes at the expense of resolution is an obvious thought process because there are so few tubes around and so much audio lore concerning tubes that it, it's, just, it's just natural, it just, it just happens. And, and I have to tell you, first off, it is not correct, which is what you're asking me. This little guy, despite all its problems, and it's got a lot of problems, right? Don't get me wrong. We never put tubes into our products for many, many years. I fought it down tooth and nail. Why? Well, think of all the product, the problems. You've got a glass tube that's breakable. It's microphonic. It gets hot. It wears out in a year or two. It, I, it, it, it I, you know, I mean, if you touch it too much, it, the, your, your oils will burn a hole in the envelope. I mean, it's got everything in the world wrong with it. And transistors, they're so nice. You just put them in and they work and they never stop working. And this, yeah, you got to replace it. Every, people can put different ones in. <laughs> but, damn it, it sounds better when used as a voltage amplifier in the right place, there's no question that vacuum tubes are unmatched for their sound quality and their resolution. If you listen to a BHK preamplifier, this is one right here, here's a stack of them. If you compare the sound of a BHK, now admittedly this is a hybrid, there's vacuum tubes on the input stage where they belong, MOSFETs on the output stage where they belong, but the combination of this, I've rarely heard any instrument with as high a resolution and resolving power as this preamplifier, and it uses vacuum tubes. And in the experiment that we made when we first started designing these, we had first had solid state. And yeah, it sounded great, and there was this sense that there was a, a sharpness. No, that's, the, that's, it's the same sort of thing you're hearing with your, your class D. There's, a, there's a, an overly etched edge to the music that at first and on many systems sounds like greater detail. I, I, imagine a photograph. If you've, if you've ever seen an over sharpened photograph, you see more detail than it was actually there. And we call that over etched. It's the best definition I can, I can share with you. And that over-etched quality is not right. It's kind of like turning up the treble control just a little bit, right? You, you, you unnaturally magnify a certain portion of the texture of the music, and yet yeah, you'll hear a little bit higher resolution in the same way that we, we might add a little bit extra Flavor. If you if you took an orange and then you <laughs> squirted in a little bit of extra orange zest, 
that orange might taste a little bit more like an orange to you, but it's not an orange. And if your goal is to have the highest resolution possible while preserving everything that is on the recording or possible from the recording, then these little glass gems cannot be beat on the input of an amplifier and even in the gain stage. As long as it's in a voltage amplification application, these can't be beat for resolution, for detail. I mean, I could go on for a long time, but you, you can't take something that's over etched and compare it to something that is correct and say one is better than the other. If your goal is to do no harm, which is what our goal is, to reproduce music as close to what it actually sounds like live. That's what PS Audio's goal is, it's what my goal is, and if that's your goal, then that, in the right place, is exactly what you want without any sacrifice. All right, thanks. Thank you.